Hey everyone, this is Jen Sheffer from Fox Hill School. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start a Google Meet with your students and their families by using the meeting code or the nickname method. And this is an alternative to scheduling anything on your Google Calendar ahead of time. It also avoids sending a live link to your students that would be accessible to them immediately. What that means is potentially students can click on a link and they can start a video call without you being present. So in terms of best, best practices, uh, this method is quick, easy, and very safe and secure for both you and the students. So the way you would do this is if you're communicating with your students through Google Classroom, you can announce the day and the time of the meeting. You can instruct students to go to the website meet.google.com you would establish a nickname or a meeting code that you as the teacher will create. And you can attach a link right here for them to go directly to meet.google.com or they would go to the Google Meet app from their um, iPad or tablet and they'd be prompted to enter the meeting code there. If you're communicating with students and families through Seesaw, I would recommend sending an announcement, letting them know the day and the time of the call telling them to go to meet.google.com, enter the meeting code or the nickname for that particular call. And again, here you can attach a link when the students or families click on that link, it'll bring them right to the Google Meet website. So on the day and the time of the call, you as the teacher, you'll open your web browser, you'll go to meet.google.com, you will put in the meeting code that you have given to students and their families and hit continue and then you uh, will be launched into that call. Most of us have instructed students to mute their mics as a best practice for video conferencing, so we'll do that. We'll hit join now. Our cameras will uh, be enabled and the call will start and we will wait for the students to join on their end. So in the next portion of the video, I'm going to show you what it will look like from the student perspective. Now here I am in a student view of Google Classroom. I see the announcement from my teacher and I click on the link that they have provided me and I know that the meeting code for this Google Meet is Sheffer. So I'm going to go to meet.google.com. You can see here I'm in my BPS training account, account as a student. So I'm going to click on join or start a meeting. I'm going to type in Sheffer and I'm going to click continue. And now I will be logged into the call as well. I'm going to immediately mute my mic. It's going to take a few moments to launch, uh, but I have done this with several teachers in the district. They've tried it um, already live with students and uh, their families, and it has been very seamless, really quick and easy. Um, and it's, it's just been great. So I'll, if any of you wanna try this, with me, feel free to give me, uh, send me an email if you wanted to set up a call with me and try it for yourself before you try it with students. I'm happy to do that with you. Uh, so please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm going to mute that mic and you can see that it says, it's uh, looking for other people in the call and you can see here that Jen Sheffer is in this call. So I click on join now. And once I join, I'll be able to see my teacher and that's all there is to it. So um, again, this is a great, quick, easy, safe and secure method. Um, and it also ensures that students will not have live access to a link that you share out with them immediately. There's no reason to involve your Google Calendar. And um, again, if you wanna try this before you do it with students, feel free to reach out to me. But um, I hope this is something that's going to make connecting with your students um, easier and um, will allow you to maintain those connections during the closure. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and um, I'm here for you if you need any support. Thanks so much for watching.